Also tonight, new information that could affect where your child goes to school next year. If passed, a Florida education bill could close low-performing public schools in Duval County. Governor Rick Scott is expected to add more public education funding to the budget this week. That's according to board member Scott Shine. In exchange for the additional funding, the governor is set to sign the bill. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell has more on exactly what could happen and when. My message to, to Governor Scott would be to not pass or not support or not allow this bill to go through. I don't think it's totally fair for the school to be shut down as a result of them getting that grade. All parents I spoke with Saturday are against the bill. Although I couldn't find local support, we do know there are plenty in favor of it. This is one of thousands of people who contacted the governor's office in support of the bill. The Post says support school choice. Say yes to House Bill 7069. As of late this week, there have been about 17,000 calls, emails and letters to Governor Scott in support of the bill. That's compared to about 11,000 opposing the bill. School board member Scott Shine says negotiations in Tallahassee could be good for Duval County schools. That should offset completely the financial impact that this bill is going to have on the district. We still have the other things in the bill to deal with, but the crisis, in my opinion, was the financial shortfall that could have been anywhere from $8 million to $30 million, and that would have really put the district in a uh, critical situation. Even children I spoke to say they don't like the idea of students having to change schools. Okay. It's just very sad for the students that they have to move to a brand new location with new people. I love my school. Once the bill lands on Governor Scott's desk, you can visit this website that we have pulled up here. It will tell you when the governor received the bill and how long he has to make a decision, which will be 15 days from when it lands on his desk. Now, once he signs or vetoes, that will also be updated in this column. We've provided the link to this website for you on newsforjax.com.